Why hello there, welcome to Mark Trim Tanks. This video is for people that are considering becoming a member. So grab yourself a big cup of coffee. We are going to be playing some B footage over this while I tell you about myself and my shrimp keeping experiences. It all started for me about 15 years ago when I moved to Norway for work from Scotland. Um, this was a very, very stressful time for me. Money was very, very short. Housing was hard to get and I was basically living from month to month. So one day when I was on my work break I stumbled into a shop that was a pet store and I came across these little fantastic shrimp called Crystal Red Shrimp. Right and there and then I bought a little tank and I needed bought all the equipment that I basically needed to set up and I went home and set up this tank. I was so excited guys. I also forgot to mention that when I first moved to Norway I was alone. I was here myself for the first seven months and I felt very very alone guys and so this little aquarium meant a lot to me. After I cycled the tank guys, which was basically for about 3 or 4 weeks, this, this tank by the way was tiny, it was only about 8 litres and I still have it on my channel today. It had a little tiny fluval a filter, some gravel and some plants and that was it. I returned back to the pet shop and I bought, guys, I bought all the shrimp that they had in this tank. It wasn't very much at that time, it was like maybe 10 crystal red shrimp which cost me about 60 bucks at that time. And from then on then I was hooked, I loved them. I think maybe even after about two months I started to get baby shrimp and I was over the moon to see all these little little shrimplets everywhere in the tank and unfortunately guys because of my inexperience none of them ever survived and then occasionally I was getting the odd dead shrimp and if you have this scenario what happens is you eventually run out of shrimp over time so it wasn't looking good I needed to find a solution to this problem. You see I knew all about fish but I knew nothing about shrimp and that was the issue. I was actually treating these shrimp like fish and that just doesn't work. Honestly guys I drove probably hundreds of kilometers looking for different shrimp and uh, yeah, I was just basically getting the same results of dying babies and dying adults. And of course this was utterly heartbreaking. Right? I, I won't lie, I teared up many many a times looking into my tanks thinking to myself and screaming guys, basically screaming to myself internally what am I doing wrong? Thinking my inexperiences were killing them and, and they were, I just didn't know what I was doing so I had to find out a solution on shrimp. I basically visited all kinds of obscure websites in, in Taiwanese and Chinese and whatever else, and sites from Singapore trying to find a solution on how I could uh, stop my shrimp from dying right and eventually I think I stumbled on, upon a website called Shrimp Now. I think it's no longer active but it, that site was very very helpful <coughs> for me in understanding that I needed to change the way my tank was set up in that for bee shrimp specifically you needed to have an active soil and you were better to use something like reverse osmosis water for the shrimp themselves right and from then on then my shrimp started to survive and then from there on I started to get the shrimp thriving which was a big bonus. But I don't think guys, I don't think it was all peachy in the rose garden just then because I think it was around about that time that I started to have serious back injuries and um, I'm saying back injuries, I, I basically guys I became disabled and roughly about the same time, maybe one or two years difference I started to get a condition called Graves disease that went undiagnosed for probably about seven years before I had an operation to fix it and all through that time guys all I had was my shrimp keeping and it kept me sane, it kept me going, it kept me like it basically gave me a reason to get up in the morning. I used to go to bed at night thinking about shrimp and I'd wake up thinking about shrimp and it used to give me little bits of exercise and yeah it was basically my world this little shrimp keeping hobby that I'd learned to love. And guys, I think I can honestly say there hasn't been a single day in all these years that I've kept shrimp where I think I've wanted to stop doing this. Not one single day, so it shows you just how much I actually do love the hobby. It's just, it is just everything to me. I love it so much. So looking back, guys, I've made a ton of mistakes, right? And I think that is the whole goal of my channel is um, to try and help you guys avoid it. Because, yeah, I, I've felt all the heartbreak and tears and... I felt all the excitement and, and the adrenaline rush when you see billions of babies and I, I want my experience to be conveyed on my channel so it actually helps you avoid all the same mistakes, right? So if you have decided to become a member, I would like to say thank you very much. If you haven't, well, I hope you have an awesome day all the same. And guys, I just wanted to say whatever you do, 
Happy Stream Keeping.